Some things just happened in the 3D printing community and some of them are kind of crazy. First, the Indiana National Guard just tested printing parts mid-flight in a Black Hawk helicopter and they had success. Scientists at Oak Ridge Na National Laboratory unveiled a next-gen additive system with a multiplexing nozzle, allowing simultaneous printing with different materials. There's forecast that the 3D printing construction sector can grow from 392 million to 23.1 billion by 2030. Multiple aerospace companies, including Rocket Lab and Relativity Space, announced expanded use of large format metal 3D printing for satellites and propulsion systems. A European research team demonstrated bioprinted skin grafts, pushing them closer to actual clinical use. Hospitals in Japan began trialing on-site 3D printing of patient-specific bone implants. Bone implants. Of course, Creality rolled out a budget-friendly Endoneo Max with a 300 by 300 by 300 build volume for beginners. I don't think they can create a system for beginners to begin with, but hey. Here we are. There are multiple startups in Texas, Mexico, and Indiana that are scaling up their 3D printed house projects, claiming to bring unit costs, home costs, to $20,000 per home. I really do think that it'll be like the little piggy who built his house out of straw.